Oh, I just messed up my contact. <laughs> <laughs> Today we've come to celebrate the marriage of Josh and Adrian. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship between one man and one woman freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home and the two shall become one flesh. And today Josh and Adrian do freely choose to be united in holy matrimony. Genesis 2, 18 through 25 says this, The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed him up to a place with flesh. And the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united with his wife, and they become one flesh. Josh, will you take Adrian to be your lawful wife? Will you love her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. Repeat after me. I take you, Adrian. I take you, Adrian. To be my lawful wife. To be my lawful wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. While we both shall live. While we both shall live. Adrian, will you take Josh to be your lawful husband? Will you love him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, keep only unto him, so long as you both shall live. I will. I take you, Josh. I take you, Josh. To be my lawful husband. To be my lawful husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. While we both shall live. While we both shall live. Place this ring on Adrian's appropriate finger and repeat after me. Adrian, with this ring. Adrian, with this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Adrian, place this ring on Josh's appropriate finger and repeat after me. Josh, with this ring. Josh, with this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Since Josh and Adrian have made these commitments before God and this assembly, by the authority of God and the laws of the state of Tennessee, I declare Josh and Adrian husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss your new beautiful bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Miss. Josh Smith.
Josh and Adrian, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always.